Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel today and a little walkthrough of one of my really usable albums. So I've made a couple of these lately and this is my newest one and I've made it for Knitwit Collections to celebrate the launch of one of their new digital kits called Blackberry Lane. Now the reason I've gone for an album this time is my grandmother was renowned for blackberries. She would go out day after day, picking them around the countryside, walking the fields day in, day out. I remember going with her when I was little and being exhausted at the end. And she would make the most amazing, and she was notorious for them, blackberry pies. And so really miss my grandmother and her pies. And it's one of those memories I've got of her. So that's why I thought I've got to make a memory book when I saw the blackberry lane um, kit. Now, before I go into this, the digital kits, if you go for the large bundle, come with papers, um, letters or an alphabet. They come with little bits, which is just little extra sentiments and tags and things. And you can buy as well a FQB or fat quarter bundle, which has like a couple of papers, a couple of sentiments, a couple of everything. So it's a good starting point. Uh, but then the co complete bundle has an extra set of papers and I said the alphabet and the little bits. And if you buy it on the release, you also get a little bonus paper and um, a topper as well. But this time, if you go for the main bundle, as I said, you get everything. But you can also buy a, as well a journal cards. So they don't come in the whole bundle. They're a separate thing for more for album makers. They do have images which are six by four and three by four and four by four, which is perfect for us um, album makers because those are photograph sizes. So as we go through, here we've got one here, uh, one of the journal cards, and it, it is six by four. And although it looks all built up and fussy cut, the only thing that isn't flat is the butterfly. So the butterfly I have, um, printed two and stuck one just with the body so the wings do fly but everything else is flat the shadows have just been added digitally with me when i was building it in microsoft publisher and same on the side then we've added the text and twisted it and a shadow so it's all completely flat and then on the back we've just got one of the digital papers so i've Taking this from the uh, solids, the uh, well, blackberry colour, the purple, and then put one of the papers inside. So all the work was actually done before printing with this paper. So all the layering and everything, one side done it. So if I want to make another one, I'm just going to print it off, cut and stick. So let's have a look inside. So I said, this is my really usable album. So I've already got a uh, tutorial for this one. So have a look in the description below and you'll get the tutorial. And if you want a cutting guide for it, if you join my Facebook group called Paper Crafting with Paul, I've got a cutting and scoring guide in the file section as a PDF for you to download. So let's open it up and let's have a little walk through. So if you've seen these really usable albums with me before, it's called the really usable album because it's perfect for your six by four, your three by four and four by four photos, your standard size. And it's got lots of usable space. So this is one of the um, journal cards or toppers that come in the fat quarter bundle. And I've just matted it onto my black cardstock like a little photo mat. So you can just tuck it into your pocket. So we've got a nice large pocket here. And I wonder if I've got one without giving away everything. This is a, a three by four uh, photo mat, 
So the black is actually a little bit bigger. So when you put your photo on, it's got a little black border, but the image itself was three by four. Again, from those journal cards that you can buy separate this time. And you've got a space for three by four photos in here. Oh, oh, I already had one in there. See, I was more organized than I thought. So that's the first one. Let's take this with us and we'll take the three by four as well. So here we've got a four by four photo mat and it fits into this pocket here. So let's take it out. You can also fit a six by four photo straight into that pocket. That's what makes it really usable. We've got a cool cat's die here, which is a faux paper clip. So it's all made of paper and cardstock. And then these are the buttons from the Blackberry Lane kit, which is in the fat quarter bundles. So just made them an inch, used my circle punch, cut them out and added them to my paper clip. So this can just attach there. And you can see I've tried to take the papers across the front page and they've just altered that to the cream version. So the same paper, just with a different color background. And again, you can put, put your six by four photos in there. And it's also a big belly band here. Then we open up, if I take this out, you'll see it's just a collection of vertical pockets. So you can tuck items in like so. And I've just printed off a full sheet of the backing paper and made one of my photo wallets. So this is for a six by four photo. And so that can just tuck in there. I do have a tutorial coming up on how to make these uh, photo wallets. So keep an eye out for that. I've done a three by four one, but I haven't done the six by four one yet. But they're really handy. You can just slide your photo in and you can tuck it in. Just adds a bit of interest into your album. You see the colours all tie in nicely, all these greens and purples. Oh, and each of the pages is also a large pocket as well. So you can put extra photos. If you want to make photo mats, you can, and you can put them in there. Just turn it over. And this time we've got some closures. We've got some swivel closures. And again, just picking up all these colours from previous pages. So they swivel back, opening up as a pocket, and you've got room for your six by four photos in here then as well. And just tie it back. And I've taken this paper because this is one of the journal cards as well. And again, I've done the butterfly twice so that I can have him, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, 3D up like that. And again, same swivels and the same papers. So this had the green board already, which is why I chose the green here. And we can open it up and we have more green. And we have another one of those six by four photo wallets in there using that patchwork or the quilt paper. Now, when you print it, it obviously comes like so. But when you use your envelope board, it sort of turns it 45 degrees. So my squares have become diamonds on this but it all works nicely again using all the colors that you find in the collection and again you've got room here then to journal and say maybe what's uh, on the photos inside that pocket so let's take this as well with us there we go and it's all built on this um flexi hinge so everything lies nice and flat so this is a nice, easy catching up page with just some horizontal pockets. And again, another of those paper clips. And this time, instead of just putting them flat like I have with all the other ones, I've actually scored in half. So this fits two six by four photos onto my journal card. So I could put it so that the back goes into the front first one. That tucks into the second one and sort of like a little closure. And then this one is a four by four one using that black breeze image. This is in the main collection, not the journal cards this time. 
and again room for two four by four photos and then when you have them take them out you've got that pattern continuing all the way down and i show you that in the tutorials as well but just perfect to go with that black breeze image isn't it so you could just leave this as an empty album and you've got all those useful places or you can really go to town because there are a lot more journal cards and things that I haven't used in this um, project. Again, I wanted to use the green, but still tied in. So we've gone for the same papers, but just different colour. And then the same paper here. So the back is exactly the same as the front, just the opposite way around. So we're going to put our 3 by 4 photos in that way. And our 6 by 4 and 5 by 7 would fit in here. And then this is the same journal card I used on the front. And again, I've done it so it folds in half. And that just tucks in those two little triangles there. So you can have it where you just tuck that in. So it's an open flap or tuck it so it's held closed like so. So that when you're closing, it's not getting snagged. And then the back, as I said, is just... One of those plain i could have put one of the oh that would actually looks quite nice i could have been, been quite a nice little cover actually good for a recipe book as well anyway <laughs> that is my really usable album made using the new knitwit collections digital kit called blackberry lane and i link in the description below to the shop so you can go and find this so thank you for watching and as always, please give it a thumbs up and a comment in the comment section below. It really does help my channel and I do enjoy just reading them as well. And if you haven't already, make sure you sign up uh, and subscribe to the channel because I've got some more Knitwit um, cards uh, coming up soon as well and plenty of other projects to share. So thank you for watching. And I shall see you all again soon. Thank you.